Right then guys, dust collection. If you've got one of these, they're brilliant. They work really well. Apart from one small problem. Let me get you a close up. All I did simply was to make up a simple. Let me just get this off so I can show you. A simple valve. Sorry about the camera. Right, literally, all it is is a washer with a bolt going through it. I'll take it apart in a minute with a piece of rubber on it and a very light spring and just a simple bracket with two holes and that's literally it obviously I could perfect it a bit more but for what I need it works um, it literally, I'll just show you what it is. Literally, literally a hole drilled into the plastic drum top with a bracket to allow. Obviously, the we have to move up and down that hole there, and just a, a hole there. And then, literally, I just got this, this cap I found, put a piece of rubber on it, push it through the hole. So, normally, the spring will hold it against the, the uh, base of the lid, like that. I then found this colloid line around which goes on there um, I made this spring I have a biro spring it goes over there for my nut because it fell in the drum and literally this just literally if I can do it with one hand not very easy but and the good thing about this Obviously, I could do with a better spring, but the good thing about this, obviously, is, as you can see, the more you tighten up the nut, the more preload you will put, obviously, on the seal. So you can literally put as much preload as you want or don't want. Um, and yeah, this is the best solution I found, which was cheap, to stop my drum collapsing. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.